What's up everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net and behind me you'll see something a little different this week folks. Not your normal Cadillac, Lincoln, Buick or big family sedan uh, from times gone by. Uh, but my second most favorite type of vehicle in the world is probably the GMT 800 series trucks, SUVs. That platform of Chevy and GM trucks uh, I would have to say is, uh, is my next favorite uh, after the mom and pop cars. And this here is something I will probably not get again and probably you won't see very often on the channel because these things just don't exist. It's a 2003 Chevy Silverado extended cab, six foot bed, four by four, V8, uh, power window lock, oh, you know, it's not a strippy, uh, 63,000 mile, one owner truck. I'm going to show it to you, do a walk around video, we'll take it for a spin. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Totally appreciate it. Let's get into the video. You must be hot. And here she is, a beautiful black over black 2003 Chevy Silverado extended cab six foot bed four by four 63,000 mile example now 2003 would have been the first year for the cat eye as a Chevy truck guys call it design where 99 2000 2001 and 2002 kind of had that classic more round uh, headlight design uh, the 2003s uh, were the first generation of the cat eye truck um, I also have one of these, and you can just see by the upper headlights, that's why they call it the Cat Eye uh, Chevy Silverado. Uh, now, when I say this is the last of the real GM trucks, I mean that in my own opinion, and you can form your own opinion. Uh, but really, this is, this is the last of the good ones. Uh, because after this, the body style change in 2007 was a half year, I believe. They had the classic, and then they had the new body style. And the new body styles are nothing like these old ones. You know, this, these things are simple trucks. Um, they're well-built. They're rugged. They don't have any kind of active fuel management or any kind of stuff like that that would make you really hate your decision of purchasing this truck or a truck. Because um, that's what all that seems like Chevy and Ford have been dealing with for the last few years is upset customers by means of bad active fuel management systems, wiping out cams, um, wiping out lifters, Fords with the cam phasers. This is the last of the good trucks. That's what I mean by that. Nope, nothing crazy. These didn't come with backup cameras. These didn't come with, you know, lane departure BS. Men who drove these trucks and drive these trucks drive like men and back up like men and probably hit things like men, but we do that anyways. Um, all joking aside, the GMT 800 platform, you know I love it. Um, I have my Escalade, I have my Chevy pickup, the 03 uh, diesel. Uh, my dad has one, my friends have them. Big Al loves these. This is an approved message by Big Al himself. Uh, you know, these are, these are the next old body style trucks, really. You have the square bodies and they're still hot. The OBSs, that 19, I don't know, 88, 89 through, uh, late 90s, 99, I think, uh, OBS style Chevy truck have been hot. These are hot, but are only heating up. And I don't get these often. I don't buy trucks often. Because especially around here, trucks just don't survive. Trucks like station wagons, like minivans, like conversion vans, they are made for a purpose. And when they serve that purpose, they're spent. They're no good anymore. They're, they're worn out. This truck lived a very sheltered life. Garaged examples since day one. Uh, really showing nice, especially in black. Uh, it's a beautiful black pickup truck. That you just don't see anymore. Uh, this is 
This is a real, real nice piece. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna show you some minor flaws throughout the truck. I'm gonna show you the interior of the truck. I'll just move it up because the sun is starting to glare off of it here. Uh, I'll move it up just a little bit and we'll uh, show you some of the flaws with this thing. And any of those flaws are minor considering the fact that this is a 20 year old. That's, that's even what's harder to believe that this is a 20 year old pickup truck. So like I said, this is a one owner truck. This is a local truck. Originally the folks lived in New York. Then they probably retired to uh, Atrium, New Hampshire. And this truck lived in a garage, and you can tell it lived in a garage. Now, one thing that I did to this truck uh, is added these uh, upgraded uh, wheels. They are 18-inch Silverado wheels, I think off of a 16. Um, I don't usually do wheel upgrades, and I don't do aftermarket. But I think, especially on a truck like this, these alloys make a great upgrade. It's a factory wheel beautiful Michelin tires. I think they really look good because this truck had steel wheels uh, with like a chrome cladding over the wheel. I just think these things really uh, break the truck up nicely. Anyways, take a look at it. You can see here beautiful black paint on this truck throughout. Um, you know, stuff that tells me this truck was garage. It's how nice those wiper arms are. Mine on my Silverado, never been garage. They're bleached out. They're all dried out, white looking. Uh, the textured plastic is in beautiful shape. Take a look inside here, all inside the wheel wells. Very, very clean. Beautiful Michelin Defender tires with super chunky rubber. Beautiful alloy wheels. Like I said, I think the gentleman that sold these to me took them off his 2016 Silverado. Uh, he put black wheels on his truck. Um, and I think they look good on his truck. I wouldn't think black wheels would look good on this because this truck is so clean It's like you hate to change it too too much because it's such a clean example But I think like I said, this is a well-deserved upgrade beautiful glass throughout This is an LS package which I think would have been the mid trim for the Silverados would have been a, like a work truck package and the LS and then the LT, so it's kind of a mixture between, you know, it's got, um, <clears throat> you know, the, the power windows, power locks, but doesn't have a power driver seat. So it's kind of a, a mid-level truck. You can see here, beautiful paint on this truck. Very minor scratching uh, on lower panels. A couple little chips on, like, the door edge there. Uh, nothing too, too crazy. There is a dent right here, and you can see where something rubbed. Uh, probably this molding here kind of took the end of it off and then dented and rubbed this cab corner. Um, I tried to have my paintless dent removal do that. Unfortunately, it's such a thick double panel or whatever. Impossible to PDR. It does have the factory GM Nerf or step bars. Uh, love that or hate it. It's definitely a mama papa type thing to put on a truck uh -huh, with the GM accessory uh, tonneau cover Tells you the type of people that owned this truck uh, Back glass. I like it. It's got the privacy glass uh, Faded old glory up there had to leave that on there really nice uh, original GM tonneau cover I can tell you it's an original GM because if you can see here Aside from that booger, that or that might have been bird poo. Uh, there's a GM bow tie there, but then you can see here GM accessories, and that's in phenomenal shape. Little chipping right on the edge here, I think on both sides, but really, really nice. Very supple, not dried out. Again, had to be garage because that wouldn't last like that. Uh, on a truck that wasn't garage does have some minor scratching right down here a little bit of a scuff right there as well uh, come up over the bedside this is probably the worst scratch in the whole truck and it was touched up you can see a minor little one there and there's some other various minor little guys here it is a black truck so it's going to show you everything uh, minor little scratch there one right there and another beautiful 18-inch LT-265-7018s. Really made this truck stand up. Brand new lug nuts. 
um, alloys. This truck does not have TPMS sensor system. Another thing that's great. You're never going to have a light to bug you to tell you um, about the your tire pressure. Um, which I love about my older trucks. Uh, original tail lights. Rear bumper is in nice shape. A little bit of a ding right there. Tailgate has a few little minor scratches run right there, there. Uh, it's got the nice, I do like this. My truck doesn't have that. My truck has kind of like a more of a smoother tailgate cap. Um, I think I'm going to try to upgrade because this is this has got a little bit of meat to it. Um, you can see here what looks to be like maybe remnants of an old dealer tag that was on this truck at one point. That is not anymore. I mean, you can see my reflection pretty well on the tailgate of this. Uh, it does not have a tow package, uh, so I can faithfully say that this truck has never towed anything. A little ding in the bumper there, and another one right next to it. A couple little scars right there on the plastic. Otherwise, in pretty nice shape. Come around, taillights in really nice shape. Again, common with these trucks when they're outside is these taillights are made of like a laminated type of plastic because i had to replace the ones on my 03 it started delaminating around the edges here and like it almost separated like two layers of plastic separated these ones are absolutely beautiful in their gm uh just like the headlights are absolutely perfect on this truck and their gm my truck i had to replace them again because the truck was outside even that third brake light assembly is nice and clear real real nice tonneau on this thing like i said again real nice shape couple minor spots but nothing too crazy come down the side of the bed here uh, it does have a slight scratch there and then it has this dent right in here you really don't see it but it's there um i'm assuming must have backed over something my guess The beautiful alloy wheel with a Michelin Defender LTX. Real nice, real straight. A couple little minor guys right there. And there's a little bitty minor ding right there. We can see those two scratches. Let's see right there. Again, this is the LS package. Doors. In real nice shape. And down here again, you get the lower uh, GM factory uh, step steps. Uh, moldings on this side are in nice shape. It does have some spots on the door where I'm assuming when this truck was garaged, the door was opened up and bumped into the same thing over and over and over again um, because that's really what that insinuates. Is the door getting opened into something uh, so maybe a box or something in the garage that kept getting bumped nobody really thought anything of it uh, until here we are looking at it now I believe this is the original windshield I'll have to look on the other side in plastics are in nice shape another super chunky Michelin Beautiful alloy wheels. And these tires are date coated. Uh, let me see. I think they're on the inside, but I know they're not. They're not that old. Yeah, they're on the inside. The DOT date code is on the inside. I want to say the tires. The wheels are from a 16. But I want to say the tires are maybe like 19-ish, 20 maybe. Um, beautiful paint on the hood does have some few you know little rock chips that were touched up here you know nothing too too crazy very minor scratch right there but again look at those beautiful cat eyes nice and clean front bumper slight scraping on the lower valance there but no rust through the bumper it's real common these bumpers rust mine's rusting on my red truck again original GM Headlights, that beautiful gold bow tie. It's a really, really nice survivor truck. Um, it's not out of the wrapper. Uh, a little 
little scrape down here on the lower cladding. It's not out of the wrapper, but the truck is a very, very nice example. And I say Survivor because it obviously hasn't been overworked. It hasn't been beat. It hasn't been used. It hasn't been abused. And I like to try to find someone who's going to keep it in that condition. Obviously, I have no say in who buys my vehicles. And you can do what, whatever you want to do with it. But this truck, you know, you see something like this that survived this time frame. And, and somebody loved it and cherished it. It would be a shame to, I don't know, plow with this truck. It would be a shame to, I don't know, do anything else other than just love it for the way it is. But, again, that's not me to decide. That's you to decide. Because it's absolutely beautiful, and you can tell just by this gorgeous stance it has. Those alloys look great. The whole truck, the whole package just screams 2003, and I love it. I wish it was back in 2003. The world would be a better place. All right, let's jump onto the inside of this beautiful Silverado, and I'm going to show you why I really, really like these is the absolute comfort. Um, not crazy style or anything over the top, but just absolutely so comfortable. Just like the Escalades of this generation, the seats are made, they're just heavenly. They're absolutely wonderful. And inside here, you'll see very simple, very simple layout, nothing crazy or over the top. Like I said, this is the LS package, so it doesn't have the full console, but it does have this fold up center armrest with full console cup holders um leather wrapped wheel uh push button four by four all that good stuff we'll get into that in just a minute let's let's show you the condition uh inside the door jams here you can see nice and clean even over here light scratching and scuffing but nothing crazy uh this does have the extended cab and the extended cabs in these trucks, uh, this is when GM finally figured it out. It's kind of crazy. They never, the old body style Silverados, you had to flip the seat up and climb in the back that way. Then they put one door on one side. And then they finally said, well, why don't we just put both doors on? Well, this is great. So this is a nice setup. Now today, trucks, if you get an extended cab, you don't have the suicide style doors. Um, you get actually four doors kind of confuses people for what a crew cab would be versus what a um, extended cab would be I know it does uh, with me I almost got fired from my last job because I took a Dodge pickup in on trade that I thought was a crew cab and it was actually an extended cab because it had the full four doors not like this style but anyways uh, you can see the doors open and close perfectly doesn't hang up Again, common thing with these trucks that they start to hang up as a handle on the inside here. Nothing crazy. Cup holder, a uh, little spot to grab. Does have the flip out uh, vent windows. You know, newer trucks today would probably have power uh, windows in the back. Tinted glass throughout, rear window defroster. Beautiful upholstery throughout as well. Uh, another thing that shows how nice this. How well this truck was maintained i should say uh back to the driver's door panel i think i got the interior light on override yep uh very nice charcoal kind of grayish black interior does have a little spot that's a little chunked out there probably from a reaching in there somebody catching it with their fingernail uh, but beautiful cloth in here nice clean simple locks windows mirrors done Nothing crazy. I mean, you know, it's got cloth, so you don't need heated seats. But if it did, that would all would be up here. But I just love this. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. You can do this with your hand. This truck isn't all ragged out, you know, and been shampooed a million times. And this is all gross and stiff from some carpenter putting his dirty hand up there. It's absolutely perfect. And it feels like just the feel of the interior of this truck gets me so excited look at the seat not all beat up and worn and again very soft like you can feel that microfibery smoothness it's not uh, i don't know just overused i guess uh back seat is just the same real nice you know you can kind of do that oof 
Oh, I love nice interiors. Um, but very simple. This does fold up. There's little pull straps on both sides. Fold that up there to give you, um, you know, more space in the back here. Carpeting is all beautiful. I really doubt that many people sat in the back seat of this pickup truck. Does have all the original jack lug wrench. Never been out of the truck. Uh, it even comes with little gloves that GM wrapped up in the uh, jack lug wrench package. Uh, it does have a uh, seat belt installed here on the side of the bolster of the uh, front seats, which is nice. It's not up here. It's not in anybody's way. So if you do flip the seat forward, if make more space, uh, even the back of the seat, you know, inside here, it's not all beat up. You know, a few little scuff marks, probably from something being in the back seat, but all in all, <sighs> real, real nice. Uh, dashboard is in phenomenal shape. You have, like I said, push button, uh, 4x4, auto 4x4. This is for your rear um, bed light, thumb wheel for the dimming, dome override, headlights, etc. Uh, beautiful leather wrapped wheel. You can see the grain in that wheel. Uh, the leather stitching is all in great shape. The sun is starting to catch back up to me again. Might have to move it in just a second. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I hate the sun this time of year. Uh, carpeting, even up front here, is in real nice shape. And this truck has all four original GM accessory floor mats. I'll show you that in just a minute. Let's jump over to the passenger side. Open these doors up here, nice and wide. Oh, I should show you the jams inside the jam. Even on the bottom of the door, it's very, very clean, no rust. Uh, usually the doors on these, especially these half doors, uh, start rotting on the bottom, and you can see very, very clean uh, in here. Oh, the sun is really, really catching me. Mm. Ah, I hate the sun. Anyways, uh, beautiful upholstery throughout here. Same thing like on the pass or the driver's side. Just real nice material. Uh, really just not beat up, not abused, not torn up. Carpeting. Very, very clean throughout here. Back seat. Back door panel, real nice shape as well. Uh, it has, it's kind of weird. It's like a charcoal throughout. And I think all GM trucks are like this from this era. It has a lighter colored headliner. I don't know why they wouldn't have just kept the original color throughout maybe it's too dark not too sure dashboard real nice shape let's have a few minor scratches you can see right there um, nothing real crazy but probably just from grabbing this uh, support handle cup holders uh, this center armrest, again, real nice shape, not beat up. Usually this gets all split up and just torn to shit. Uh, but this thing is in super, super nice shape. Little coin holder, uh, CD holder, obviously outdated by now. And then it does flip up with a center seat belt. So you can put six people in this truck. Uh, which you don't see very often in trucks today anymore. That kind of looks like an angry face, doesn't it? a big wide opening angry face um, dual zone climate control CD player uh, nothing too crazy again like I said it's just your basic truck but you know with some options <laughs> back when they still had cigarette lighters but my nephew doesn't even know what that does ashtray glove box space to put things as the 
option tag. Tells you all the types of options that the truck came with. Um, looks like an auto dimming rear view mirror with compass. Passenger seat upholstery. Again, very, very nice. Has the baby seat uh, anchors there. Uh, just super, super soft. I wish you could feel this cloth through my hand, through the phone. It's just, oh, it's so soft. It's, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, anyways, let's pop the hood, take a look inside the bed of this Silverado, and then we're going to take it on a drive down the highway, and I think you're going to love it just as much as I do. All right, diving into the tailgate uh, slash bed of this pickup truck here. Uh, you can see I do have all four original GM. These are rubber floor mats. Uh, it does have a all-star bed liner and just judging by the condition of this bed liner, the top of the tonneau cover, how clean it is. Uh, again, a homeowner's truck, not a working truck. I mean, I'm sure they probably picked up sand or mulch or whatever, uh, but you can see here, very, very clean. Uh, even inside on the tailgate has a step on the back here lift that up close that closes nice and tight I'm gonna come around here and show you the v8 under the hood uh, this is the 4.8 liter v8 uh, these came in either a 6 which I think was a 4.3 a 4.8 which was a smaller of the two v8s available and then the 5.3, I think, then the 2500s, you could have got the 8.1 and the 6 liter. Uh, but for a 1500, unless you got the Vortex Max package, which you could have got the 6 liter. Again, back when you had options and choices. You know, it was kind of the end of that era, not like the 70s or 80s when you had options and choices. But you could still option a truck, engine, rear end type of, you know, things that you could build the truck the way you wanted it you know they had the quadrastia they had you know different trim package engine packages again this is why i love these trucks so much but a whisper quiet 4.8 liter v8 uh vortec engine real real clean you can see over here 4.8 liter now again pride and ownership love the truck i didn't even know synthetic engine coolant was a thing uh, until i saw this and I looked it up online. I don't know if I'd call it synthetic coolant, but it's a type of synthetic coolant. Uh, synthetic brake fluid obviously has been installed in this truck, uh, which, again, didn't really know anything about. Uh, but very, very clean, nice and presentable. Does everything you need it to do under the hood. Clean as well. Nice and quiet. It even has, I'm going to show you the fobs in just a minute before I jump in, a GM accessory alarm. I saw the remotes, and I'm going to show you the remotes that this truck came with, and it's going to trip you up too, because I've never, and I'm a GM, I've had GM trucks, like I said, my dad has GM trucks, he has always had GM trucks, I've never seen the remotes that this truck has. So it has two keys, two remotes. One of them, the buttons are a little worn. So I'll show you this one here. But basically it's a lock and unlock, a panic button, and then a GM button. I don't know what happens when you push the GM button. I've pushed it many times, it does nothing. The lock and unlock work. Uh, the panic button works. But, uh, driver number one. Start it up. And she's got 63,437 miles. All right, let's take this one for a spin here. Uh, I showed you all this stuff here. You get the little ashtray, little pocket here, two accessory outlets, essentially, dual zone climate control sound system. Does have a little bit of wear on the button there. And I think this the recirculating button as well. There's another little hideaway. Has the temperature and compass mirror. And again, like I said before, dashboard is in really, really nice shape on this truck. I'm gonna put your light.
lights on auto. Uh, it does have the auto 4x4, so we're going to put that into 4. And she's in drive. Make sure she works. Oh, yeah, that's 4x4 on dry pavement. Try to turn that wheel. Go back up into 2. I'm pretty sure if I remember my Silverado to do full low, you have to be in neutral. Yep. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Full low. We're going to go back up to neutral for high. I guess I didn't really have to do that. Too high. Yep. All right. Let's take it for a spin. Now this truck, I've taken on a few, uh, a few, couple hundred mile road trips. I don't know how many miles I've put on it. Not eleven thousand. Um, I've probably put. I think I rolled this thing over sixty three thousand. So I want to say I put at least four hundred. I, I had to be at least four hundred miles on this truck. Um, it's so smooth. When I got the truck, the truck at 62, 63,000 miles, the truck still had its original tires on it from 2003. Um, so if that doesn't tell you how gently this truck was used and driven, I don't know what else will. Because for the original, I think they were Firestone tires to last 60. I mean, they were wiped out. They were like flat baloney skins. Um, but for it to have the tires still is insane. Uh, talk about getting your money's worth out of your tires. Uh, but just a real pleasure to drive, even on the highway. You know, trucks on the highway usually aren't, like, the most exciting things to drive. Um, I actually probably favor driving this truck over my Escalade. Obviously, it's got, you know, tons less miles, uh, but it's just so tight and so i don't know it's something about this truck with the cloth interior i love uh cloth interior and vehicles i do like leather but i do love cloth and velour Uh, and I do remember when I got the truck in, those tires were so bad, it was humming. So when I did drive it back on the highway, um, it was like, oh my God, this thing's unbearable. When I put these wheels and tires on with those Michelins, uh, it totally changed. It's nice and quiet now. I mean, as quiet as a Chevy pickup could be, I guess, on the highway. I did do some other service work to this truck. Uh, I replaced both rear calipers. The left rear was hanging up just enough that after driving it all the way, probably an hour and a half up in north of New Hampshire, to my shop, to my house, in the same kind of trip, that left rear wheel was just starting to heat up. Uh, so I did both rear calipers. I did pads just because, although the pads and rotors all the way around the truck have been recently replaced. Um, I just did the pads just in case they were burnt up a little bit on the left side. Again, really, they were in phenomenal shape um, all the way around. Uh, I did a passenger side front hub bearing. Uh, I had a little bit of a howl to it. Not really much play, but it did have a little bit of howl to it. Got that addressed. Uh, I feel like I did something else. This oil pressure sending unit, um, very common on these trucks. I had to do it in my Escalade, had to do it in my... Sisters Escalade, uh, very, very common. Had to do it on my dad's Chevy pickup or a GMC pickup. Uh, but aside from that, I mean, she cruises down the highway. Cruise control works. Okay. Horn works. Nope, sorry, not beeping at you. Smooth braking. Just a real enjoyable truck. Very comfortable, like I said. You know, just like the Grand Marquis, just like the town cars. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> old is gold. And this, like those, old is gold. These trucks just keep going. Look at how many of these trucks you still see on the road today. You know, after 2007, essentially, was the last year you could have got this old body style. Um, and there's still so many Suburbans, Tahos, Yukons, uh, 
you know, GMC counterparts. They're very, very loved. There's tons of parts. Parts are so inexpensive for these trucks. And they just keep going and going and going. And at 63,000 miles, this truck has a ton of life left in it. If you have any questions, 978-930-1004. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I don't do trucks often, so I thought it was going to be short, but it's not looking that way. But if you have any questions, give me a holler, 978-930-1004. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Specialty Motor Cars NH. Uh, on Facebook as well, and if you have been following me on those platforms, you would have known this truck was coming up because I posted pictures of the tires and wheels when I put them on and all that stuff. Always give the sneak peeks there, so definitely check me out there. Go over to my website, specialtymotorcars.net, for all the still pictures of this truck and uh, any details you might want uh, on it. You can also check out the merch store over there at specialtymotorcars.net. We're going to head back to the shop with this one, put it back in the garage. And uh, I'm excited to see what type of buyer comes along for a real nice Chevy Silverado pickup like this. I hope someone who truly appreciates this generation, this vintage Chevy truck, GM truck, uh, because these really are the last of the good ones. Price on this Silverado is going to be $14,995. Again, my name is Anthony. Thanks a lot for watching. And we'll talk to you on the next one.